traditional millcraft uh, larder, made from uh, co completely made from uh, solid ash. Here we have the doors; they're also patina to give it a tr uh, traditional millcraft look. As we open inside, you can see we have additional uh, wicker baskets down below. Ideal, ideal for storage. Plus additional drawers above for cutlery. We have the worktop made from a uh, composite worktop, which takes direct takes dir ideal for direct heat. And also above we have the additional shelving, ideally for storage, to pr to produce a complete more or less a complete storage facility. showroom it's painted oak again the colours can be customised to the client's choice this is one of the fire on ball colours and it's one of the hidden anomalies in the kitchen it's based on the old traditional pantry unit which would have been found in houses many years ago the secret with any of these larders is to design these as the client requires them rather than how we would so it's to meet with the storage we have the little pull-out storage units here. You can do coffee, pasta, any of these are all here. And then again, cutlery units here. These can be set up in any arrangement to meet the client's need. Bigger drawers down here for pots, pans and that type of thing. And then the shelves. These could be their adjustable R set shelves but again with those there the secret is to have them not too deep so that you can see into the unit and you can see right to the back of the unit many units are made with deep shelves and at that point in time you lose all the goods at the back and you can't see what you have close it up and as I say it makes a very fine piece of furniture in anyone's home this piece is Irish oak. Um, again, there's quite a bit of character with the timber, and particularly with this timber, you get a lot of cat's paws and knots, which are all very unique, and each piece is very different. The worktop is an Imperador marble. Um, two different finishes this is the leather finish, and this is a gloss finish. Um, again, works very well with the traditional oak style. Slightly different take to the last. This is gloss, white gloss and walnut gloss. The work tops are a composite which is a solid stone and acrylic base. The benefit with this against the granite marble is it's non-porous so it's probably the most hygienic surface you can use. You can fabricate your join so that your join is about 95% invisible. This is one of our framed kitchens. This is a sycamore and maple mix with a nice traditional mantle which is coming down onto the work surfaces. The work surface is a honed granite so if you look at that quite closely you can see that it's textured rather than polished and it gives it a very good rustic feel in comparison with the, in complementing the doors. Um, it's an in frame so you can actually see the doors are set inside the frame. It's slightly patinaed as well to give it a, a whole aged effect. So as a point of installation, really, it'd be very difficult to put an age on the kitchen. This is a nice um, oak shaker. It's natural American oak. There's no staining in the door, so that's the timber in its natural form. It's complemented with a South African grey worktops and then a feature of timber around the undermounted sink. It's a nice timber in that the door is a classical design which really doesn't age. Um, minimalistic, few nooks and crannies for cleaning or polishing. Um, but a nice and light natural colour which complements most interior designs. This is the latest addition to the range. This is native ash and the unique 
um, characteristics of the ash is if you look each and every door is very different in terms of grain you wouldn't get a lot of knots but you'll get a lot of different graining the work surface is marble or sorry granite um, with a waterfall edge which um, gives it a very substantive depth to it glass flashback behind the sink which gives a nice bit of colour to it as well and the design is it's a meaning of classical with new because the design is quite modern whereas the timber itself is, is very traditionally classic. This is a in-frame kitchen painted on walnut so it's a combination of the cream and the timber interior walnut and the glass as well so it gives it a nice um, depth whenever you see the whole thing put together. Another feature again is a range which are now very popular with the feature mantle over it with a nice little detail of the corval turnings.